Boinky here, doing seven slaps in the sack for MissCaseyCarter.com, and I'm with Left Brain, Mike G, and Larry of Odd Future. They're about to play at the Nectar Lounge tonight with the Sick Fucks and Bizarre of D12. That's hella random, but you know, it's gonna be lit, so come through. We're about to go in here, we're about to pick up some slaps. It's gonna be sick, as always. And there you have it. So, let's get it. Alright, Mike G's got his slaps here. It looks like he is the first artist that we've ever had on here to actually pick out a cassette. So, that is very rare and I will step aside and let him introduce his slaps to you. Alright, alright. First off, we got Jay-Z. It's volume one. Amongst all the CDs, I don't know, this is not my favorite Jay-Z CD, but uh, I've wrapped over the first beat on this called my first mixtape. Uh, I always like go back to the CD. See, next up, Carter, Lil Wayne to Carter. I'm gonna say this is the best Carter to me. So I used to like ride around with my uncle bumping this in Florida. Like that's how I got into Lil Wayne, Chopper Screwed, all that. Shout out to Weezy, Free Tunchi. <laughs> all right, Brianna loud this is so official you feel me this is like my life like as i was adjusting to music you feel me it was like I, I don't know i just had a new experience and this was like the one i called on to so re is my obsession you know, everybody knows eminem i remember him uh hopping off the plane when i went to live with my dad in la like i live with my mom of course she's listening to all these you know all that my dad put this in he said don't tell your mom so that was like my exposure to hip-hop and like this changed my life so life changer shout out eminem i searched far and wide for this obi trice i'm gonna cover up that price it's, <laughs> it's, it's deserving of uh notoriety you feel me this is a very underrated cd even though it sold a lot it went like three or four times platinum but obi trice that's the man you feel me i fuck with obi trice heavy he's underrated but you know still rocking yeah speaking of obi trice i asked this dude that i used to work with biggest square i've ever met i was like yo what's your favorite wu-tang member and he said obi trice Ooh. and i i died like my like life is ruined after that that's, that's why i'm a little bit like unstable <laughs> now as a human but you know it's chill yeah, that's a <laughs> bit awkward shout out obi trice all right so i got this cassette michael jackson this was like i don't know michael jackson was something i fuck with heavy like so tight and like i stole this cassette from my mom's collection and uh i don't remember what i was playing it on but it got like fucked up then i stole my stepmoms so i was just rocking with this as a cassette it, the cds was out too so you know first and only cassette that i was carrying around so shout out to michael jackson it's a good, uh, it's a good pick king this random right here it's the longest yard we didn't have d12 in here this isn't even the right longest yard this is probably better than the adam sandler one but this is the original i got this because d12 <laughs> is in the longest yard they didn't have the cd so this is the only thing i could find with d12 in it shout out to d12 bizarre RP proof, all that. The movies, whatever. But D12 was in the scene, so. And they had a song on the soundtrack. They had hella wrestlers in that movie, too. Yeah, yeah. They're all the racist cops. So she was hella whack, but, you the know. Casting was <laughs> sweet, though, yeah. The casting was hella sweet, good. Yeah. Nelly, of course, he would be hella good at football. Nice, yeah. So that's how we do it. That's my seven. It's Mike G7. Right. Got left brain slaps here. It looks like that LP is very rare, so we should save that one for last, but I will let you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Save that one for last. So basically, I got seven items for y'all today. First, that young outcast. You know what I'm saying? What more can I say? Really, it's fucking one of the best albums, best duos in hip hop. Andre and Big Boy. This album right here it moves me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's one of them wake up in the morning joints, get on the bus, listen to that shit on the subway. And then this one. In a major way, definitely changed the game for me. That sprinkle me, man. Bay Area shit, you know what I'm saying? That I used to live out in the rare. Bay Area. You know what I'm saying? That cover is crazy. That's rare. Oh, look at that. Ice, you know what I'm saying? Money in cars type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Then this right here is Leaf Scratch Perry and the Upsetters. Some like dub reggae shit right here. It's like some shit my dad was listening to when I was younger. Big influence on a lot of artists. I got this skate video right here. I don't even know what the fuck this is. <laughs> it's like a skate <laughs> tip video. You got like the ollie and the front side 180. But just skate videos in general, I fuck with them because they got cool music behind them and shit. <laughs> I love skating. That's four, okay. 
This movie right here, you know, Walt Disney production, The Emperor's New Groove. You know what I'm saying? This joint right here, it's a lot of Disney movies that I like, but I really like this one. It got a good message for the kids. You ain't gotta be all, you know what I'm saying, swaggy and, you know what I'm saying, blingy all the time. You gotta be yourself. It's a good message for the kids. Did you ever see uh, the Disney Channel original movies, though, from the early 2000s? Like Johnny Tsunami? Oh, yeah. Sure. The, oh, yeah. Oh, the Disney Channel movies. Yeah. 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 Oh, for sure. Yeah. Those were the low-key bangers. Yeah, man. Those were low-key. Those were rare. Did they ever put those on DVD? Anything? Never DVD. Only yeah, DHS. Man. Very exclusive. I was looking around for some rare shit. It's hard. It yeah, is man. hard. Right here is Grace Jones with Warm Leather Rep. This is a real cool album. Real... How you say that? Diverse artist right here. She's really strange. I sampled some shit off of here actually. It's not even out yet though actually here, but I have sampled some other Grace Jones shit on some Mellow Hype. Then this is the last one right here. It's Al Di Miola. This album right here goes way back in my family. I used to hear this a lot on the record. This is like some shit. This is like at the park, you know what I'm saying? Outdoor type shit. Some real Spanish guitar, some real dreamy, like some coke music, like do some cocaine and just fucking go out. You know what I'm saying? But those are seven. I wish I could pick more, but that's all I got for you guys today. That's it. It's your boy Left Brain, man. There he is. Thank you, man. Last but not least, we got Larry Slabs here. Larry's decided to keep the rare shades on for the interview, so you can't tell what he's thinking because your eyes tell all of the thoughts in your head, so. You can't see me, man. You can't see me. But right here, you feel me? First off, got the Slim Thug. This came out in like, I want to say 9th to 10th grade, my nigga. She got the heaters on it. Pharrell, Bun B, T.I., Jazzy Faye. Fuck with Houston off top. Yo, Kiki, I ain't even seen this. Oh, shit. I only heard this nigga on like screw tapes. My nigga got like the 4X tall. That really <laughs> stood out to me. Shouts out to that tall with, with the big clothes. I ain't heard this yet, but I'm, I'm looking forward to listening to it because this nigga got bars. You can never go wrong with Doggy Style. You feel me? West Coast classic. Oh, definitely. Always Worldwide classic. classic. You feel me? Endless heaters on this. I don't think any of these you can skip right here. Too much mm -hmm. heat. Rough Riders, Ride or Die Volume mm -hmm. 1. You feel me? This shit, like, changed my life, my nigga. I've been heavy into the Styles P recently and shit, so I'm about to rewind it. When did this shit come out, my nigga? 2000? 1999, yeah. Oh, I was close. I'm about to, you know, hop in the time machine and go back to this. Yeah. My niggas, like, <laughs> didn't give a fuck before all the fashion shit. Yeah, no, exactly. My favorite rapper, my nigga. This might be my favorite album, too, Urban Legend. This is also Endless Heaters. But yeah, it's the Chop version. I ain't even seen this. Screw by Paul Wall. Paul Wall? Yeah. That's so, rare. Some good shit. Can't wait to hear that. Man on Fire, Denzel Washington caught, like, ultra bodies in this. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. This is one of his best roles. He was just all over the place, my nigga. He shooting niggas with shotguns and shit. The little girl was hella annoying in that movie. Yeah, she, she should have got chipped off. Yeah, she But they, yeah, they made this nigga get chipped off of her. It's like, <laughs> it is what it is, though. Yeah. City of God, this is on some mafia other shit. This is a real good movie. I've seen it like 30 times. I have to watch this shit today. But yeah, that's what it's your boy L Dog rocking with. Hilarious slaps. We're about to go get some tacos for Taco Tuesday. Shouts out Taco Tuesday. about the future. Shout out here. my Latina shouties, you feel me? Shouts out to them. Yep, yep. Fuck with y'all.